On Easter Sunday 2008, in this usually quiet part of Potrero Hill, hundreds of grown adults gathered together. They had all brought big wheels. The big wheel race is a tradition that started eight years ago by a single big wheel rider and has grown every year since. The ride takes place on one of the steepest and curviest streets in San Francisco. This is a street that makes you nervous driving down it, never mind riding down it at a high speed on its own big wheel. I was, I was curious why they, they don't allow you to, to use uh, rubber wheels, uh, so I emailed the organizer and asked uh, you know, why. He says, well, basically it's a control thing. If you have control, it's not as fun. So, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense. I'll be riding a custom-made John Deere tractor, compliments of my son Jack and his grandpa Dale Logan. It's got reflectors, it's got awesome intense pipes, it's got a speaker system, and it handles like a dream. So what is your pre-game plan here? After the 1,400 hours of man hours I put into this thing, mm -hmm. pretty much just go balls out. Hope I don't go sideways. Put that on my dog. You did? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm leading not necessarily by example because I am planning on going backwards with a furniture dolly underneath the big wheel. It could be a genius move. It could be pure death. <laughs> So have you done this event before? Yes, this is my third year. My All right. first year. Your first year. Well, I'm a big wheel virgin. Mm -hmm. so show, show us some of the protective padding that you've uh, you put together here. Okay. Elbow pads, you got pads, spike shorts for your butt. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna lift I, I do have some wrist guards, very important. You don't want to snap your wrist on any other turn. Mm -hmm. I'm a nun, I don't need a helmet. Yeah. Well, we saw the videos on YouTube, and I, at work, um, I sent it out to everybody and tried to get a group of people to come up. We're from L.A. How about the shark outfit? Did you make that especially for this event? No, actually, you know what? I wore this for my uh, graduation at CalArts. <laughs> so this is only the second time it's been out in public. <laughs> I did modify the axle. It's a little thicker to hold the weight, you know. I'm not a kid. <laughs> Lots of animals rode in the race, like birds, pandas, bears, 
gorillas, mice, and a shark. What happened after riders finished the race? They carried their big wheels up the hill and started over again. Fantastic. Yeah. Plenty injuries. Oh yeah. Like what? <laughs> uh, uh, just slamming off my bike onto my ass and my leg and got dragged a little bit. Did the bunny suit help? You know, it does. It does. It gives me a really good powers today and uh, the amount of sweat means I'm all lubed up. So I tend to slide everywhere. It's really nice. How'd it go? Pretty good. This is the second ramp. I mean the second run and uh, I wiped out twice. So. How do you feel? I feel good. It's awesome. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> Was it like to ride in this race? Let's take a look at this helmet cam to find out. While this rider successfully navigated through all the hazards on this run, on any given run there's always some uncertainty of what you might run into. It was pretty fun, but I was really concerned about the danger. Like, a lot of people were falling over, I felt like people should have been wearing like full body suits. Uh, yeah, and maybe sign some waivers. There were lots of wipeouts during the race, but everyone seemed to take it with a smile. Some riders had to give up their ambitions to finish the race. Others persevered in the face of difficulty.
exciting thing I've ever seen in my life. Mama.